And now Deflor is down to his uh no two decks that he um that can play both of them, a hunter and a warlock. Um, Hunter against Mage could be uh, pretty good, but then some people are telling me that, uh, especially like Sixo and even Firebat, like my teammates, they're telling me that Freeze Mage has an edge over Hunter. Yeah, I mean, since Flare got increased to two, you don't just see two copies of Flare in every single Hunter deck just because why not? <laughs> um, and that was like, that was what was really killing Freeze Mage to begin with, is the fact that Hunter was not only arguably the best strategy, but that it also had just this perfect counter card to whatever you were doing. So when you increase that mana cost 100%, it's like the difference between Undertaker and Micro Machine. It's like oh, Micro Machine is, is not the new Undertaker, and, and the new player is not the old player. There's a heavy cost associated with it because you can't just burn it on turn one. Uh, but this Hunter might be a different story. We see Arcane Golem in the opening hand, Wait. and that's indicative of cards potentially like Wolf Rider. Uh, he is going to be looking to just burn his opponent out of the game as quickly as possible. Wow, and he even sees Wolf Rider picked up straight away. So Antique Healbot... Very good, I think, in this matchup. Oh, Forsen Forsen keeps his whole hand. It's, it's like perfect. Wow. I like this hand. Keeps the arcane intellect. So like strong. Oh, man. If Deathlord picks up a one drop here, I think he's in good shape. Uh, so Not quite. And we're going to have to see how this game develops now. But, but you know what? Wow. As a person playing against the Hunter, and I see them pass their turn, I go like, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a big sigh of relief. Oh, man. And then I think a not so big sigh of relief is going to be when he sees Wolf Rider. Oh. Oh, the one drop was a little bit um too late. Yeah. Nice time to shift him down here. Yeah, yeah. That web spinner, like if that would have been played turn one, that could potentially picked up like three points of damage this game. Yeah. And actually, you know, because I mean, if if Forsen pings it, then you know he spends two mana really much doing nothing. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if Wolf Rider did not get jammed into the face this turn. <laughs> Jam it. I, you know, he actually he may not want to give that away. Though. Yeah, that's true. Is is it yeah. better to conceal the information? It might be. I think it actually might just be straight, straight up better to play web spinner and then and then hero power. Mm. Yeah, just start getting your your value now because your your hand doesn't have a lot of repetitive damage in it at the moment. That's true. So it makes a ton of sense to start weaving in your hero powers now when you can, uh, and hope that gets the job done. But uh, again, this is really an example of uh, of just the difference that not having flare will make in this matchup. I think Forsen feels very comfortable with his position right now. And uh, I believe that's an ice barrier because ice, or I'm sorry, I believe that's uh, an ice block because ice block was not available to play last turn. Right, yeah. that's true. And we do have the hover mechanic, which is perfect. Uh, Death Lord's going to just try and use the hero power as much as possible here. Yep. And uh, I think ice barrier would have been a little bit better for Forsen, but hey, what can you do? A free secret? That's pretty good. It's all right. <laughs> nice. Get, getting, a pretty good card. Getting a free extra turn for two mana and, and a 2 2 minion, you know, it's, it's an okay deal. Right. What, what secret did uh did Death Lord get though? Is he just running copies of Explosive Trap? Oh yeah, that's interesting. Uh, maybe we can uh, hover over that if we have a chance. I imagine if he's Face Hunter, he probably does just have two right, copies of Explosive go. Trap. Yeah, it is an Explosive Trap here. But, but I'm curious if something like Misdirection can be rotated back into this deck now if you're choosing oh, to do the Face Route again. That's such a hard card to use uh, correctly though, don't you think? It requires such a insane amount of setup. Well, I remember when we when uh, when Chalky when when I was playing on Clarity. I mean, this is eons ago. Oh yeah, uh, ages when, ago. What you just did is, anytime they played a minion, you just played Misdirection, and it was like a gain two damage. It was like a gain two life, deal two damage spell, and right. that was enough to just buy you the little bit of extra time you needed to try to finish off your opponent. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the next few months. <laughs> Maybe the meta is not there yet. <laughs> I, I'd like to see it get back in. All right. Uh, this ma ma this mass science is gonna whiff because we expected only uh, explosive traps. And, uh, uh, you know, Forsen does know that the trap is not freezing or a uh, snake trap because he did trade of the mad sciences. Oh, wait, actually, no. He traded and, and then the secret popped there, right? So, yeah, I guess yeah. Forsen doesn't yeah. really know. It's, it's anti kill bot straight away. This is such a good turn for him, too. I mean, look at how much he stabilized. Right. And Unleash the Hounds is not very good against Freeze Mage, I can tell you that. Uh, three mana to deal one damage, not really good. <laughs> no, it can't be good. And uh, now it's three mana to deal zero damage. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, this piece might help a little bit. Uh, scavenging Hyena, uh, not too helpful, I think. Wolf yeah. Rider's gonna come down here. This is where, this is a really good example, by the way, of how well Deathlord has played this, you know, starting early on when he started weaving in the hero powers. Had he just chosen to use his Wolf Riders, he wouldn't really, he wouldn't really have any gas left uh, at this point. But instead, he's gotten what what has been ten damage out of his hero power now. Yeah. 
So I guess uh, right now, if we analyze the situation, we back back in turn three, we are really not surprised that he didn't use the uh, Wolf Rider. Yeah, I, I initially I would have been surprised, but then I you know I started evaluating the game state again. Yeah, I'm just so used to jamming down Wolf Rider on turn three. When I have it. <laughs> because why not? It's three damage right now. Oh man, this Ice Bear is gonna heal Horson for so much. It's amazing. He's gonna get Iron Beagle for the Doomsayer too. That's true. But I mean, this is a pretty yummy flame strike turn. It's tough to get a better one than this. Yeah, very tough. It's against really Agro Hunter as well. Yeah, especially against Charge Hunter. <laughs> yeah. Where your opponent's gonna be. <laughs> wow, Glaive Zuka. That's uh pretty much a fire war axe at this point. You just yep. push for three damage. Um, unleash cannot be used. Uh, explosive trap cannot be used, and I mean, are you really gonna play down a two one? So wow, Death Lord has a dead hand right now. Yeah. But this still, like it's uh, it's some pressure, right? Forsen still needs to draw to his uh, win conditions. Yep. So it's pretty much um, kind of a race for that to happen. Yep. He's got another ice barrier left too, so a little bit of gas uh, okay. in terms of you know keeping his life sustained. Yeah, that's true. Oh, there it is. There it is. Not bad. Not I bad. think that's actually pretty much the exact draw he wanted after you know, on the second one anyway. But yeah, this mage is still uh, at the end of the day. Freeze mage is not fatigue mage. So you do have to like kill your opponent at some time. Yep. Kill command is also a ten card. <laughs> For now it is. I mean, it's five extra damage. You know, he's, at this point he's trying to assemble just the critical mass. Right, but then uh, kind of want to draw something that you can play right now and draw the kill command later, right? So. Yep. Oh, just... Deathlord just throws at the well played, but. Oh, and Alex Straza gets picked up, and that is a huge draw for Forsen right now. <laughs> because he, and... you see it, Fireball, Fireball, uh, Frostbolt, and that is the magic 15. Wow, he's even got Ice Lance. There's nothing Death Lord could do nope. to get out of this one because Forsen's sitting behind an Ice Block right now. So even if he could manage to deal 19 points of damage, Forsen would still be alive. Oh, man. This is really the difference that player and not player makes, too, because... Flair was able to cancel out things like ice barriers. That's and true. so in a scenario like that, it was effectively dealing eight damage versus this deck. Well, wow, Flair, one mana deal eight damage and draw a card, that seems so so unbalanced if you look back. Yeah. <laughs> and then when your opponent has ice block out, you also kill that. Right. And when your opponent's not a secrets class, you can just uh, you know, draw a card. Yeah. Oh <laughs> the classical force in. Oh no. Oh. That didn't that 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 didn't that didn't work. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, Force in, uh, miraculously takes back uh second game and hey, we're going down to the ace match. That's yep, like, we got that. ourselves a series, boys. Yep. We have now seen both coups used. Mm -hmm. We've seen Druid put Forsen down to his last deck. We've seen him use a mind game to get his opponent to kill his Archmage, which is what he wanted to happen. And now we're down to the last matchup, which is Warlock versus Mage. And I gotta be honest with you, in my experience on both sides of this, Mage, I think, has a distinct advantage uh, over what's going on in these matchups. Yeah, I mean, with uh, all versions of Warlock seem to be like not that good against Freeze Mage, for example. Maybe double anti kill, but double Farseer. Uh, uh, Handlock would be okay, you know, especially if you can push out those giants and Twilight Drinks early on. Uh, yeah. But man, uh, Forsen has come a long way. And it would be a shame if it's like Ragnaros and it hits two times and the third one misses. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it's all come down to this one game. We, <laughs> had, we were like counting Forsen, like, like how difficult is it for him to win this series at this point? Death Lord still has all of his decks available. Uh, to him, San's the one that was cooed. He had his coup still available. Uh, he had what we felt were favorable matchups coming into this uh, at some point. And now it's all down to this one game. Oh, man. And I want to know what kind of Warlock he's playing. And I, since he's playing I saw Arcane Golem and Wolf Rider in Hunter, and I'm happy with that. Uh -huh. uh, but I, it wouldn't surprise me to see like another Arcane Golem-oriented style Warlock. Because that's been building up a lot of steam. It's becoming a lot more popular lately, too. Uh, yeah. It's just a Warlock deck that focuses on removal and then tries to kill you around the turn 10 mark with Arcane Golem, two power overwhelmings and a faceless manipulator. That's true, but th would that would that deck uh, be good against a Freeze Mage, for example? Like, you still need to do some deal some residual damage. Oh my god! 
There's the arcade golem. Oh my god. Okay, so I guess we're about to find out, right? We don't need to speculate. <laughs> this is one of the times that we're going to see. Uh, mind control tech as well. Uh, so what do you keep in this? Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Death Lord's not going to keep any of these cards. I imagine they're all getting pitched. I mean, there might be some merit to keeping like mind control tech just to have a 3-3. Three, three. Nah. You want oh, he's got oh, Twilight Drakes. Double no. Drakes. Yo, this is going to be so deadly. Double Drakes is just... Oh, Freeze Mage is worst... Dream or not dream nightmare, I guess. <laughs> At that point, yeah. it's not even a dream. It's, it's not a Yasera card. Well, it's one of the Yasera cards. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, and two dark bombs as well. So, um, you know, you're not in any situation where you go like, okay, I'm gonna deal a bunch of damage, and my opponent uh is, you know, sitting at one health with no ice block, and I can't kill him. No, you have dark bombs, so that's perfectly fine. Some some board uh from forcing though, which means that he can deal some you know residual damage, uh which means that Archmage suddenly becomes like a viable outlet to win. Yeah, it doesn't isn't necessarily gonna need uh Alex Straza to win this game. It's just got to be coined to Twilight Drake. You get two of them in your hand. You have a turn five play. Um, you know what what cards are gonna give you better options at this point? You're just a four eight is such a menacing minion. Mm -hmm. And okay. Harrison is not gonna be good unless we see a Jirax is played. Which, if I'm familiar with this matchup, Jaraxxus doesn't get played in this deck. Yeah, I, I believe it's not a Jaraxxus deck either. Ooh, he picks up a Hellfire, though. Okay, that's one way to deal with all these annoying minions. Wow, this is a tough turn, actually. Yeah, because if you let these minions survive, then you are that much more vulnerable to the Archmage play. Or maybe, you know, Forsen just draws into two fireballs and then draws into a pyroblast and goes like, yeah, I'm just going to kill you now. Yeah, I mean, you definitely <laughs> have to consider how much damage uh, these small minions add up to. Yeah. If you don't use Hellfire this turn, like say, he, do, do you attack a minion here if you choose to play the other Twilight Drake? I think you should. You really don't uh, want to get to that point where, you know, you're worrying about your life, right? You just want to try and worry about how you pop the block and how you kill your opponent. Yeah. So yeah, it is a hard turn, I have to say. It's not a Belcher turn. I mean, Belcher would be so much better because you can just play Belcher and go for face, right? I think Belcher was four mana. Yeah, oh if only. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think it... Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to do here. This is a hard yeah, turn. This, is, this looks like a Hellfire to me. Uh, I think I like the attack first and then Hellfire. You might The Mass Scientist might have a possibility of whiffing. Um, yep. So. Well, I think... Hmm. Actually, I don't know which one I like first. So many cards drawn. Oh my god. Yeah, Harrison's just gonna come down to help challenge this uh, this Twilight Drake. Right. Now I'm curious now if he if he's gonna choose to go with Sludge Belcher or go with his other Twilight Drake here now. Mhm. Mm Cause then Harrison going to the face hurts a bit more than uh, Luke Order going to the face. Yeah. There's also there's I mean there is definitely a consideration for just trading. Here also, yeah, yeah I, I like going for face though. Yeah, you need to pop the block. You don't want to stall this game any longer. Uh, right. For a freeze mage. This is another one of those matchups where, like, it, I think if the game goes to like thirty turns, that Death Lord probably has an advantage. <laughs> but like, if the game goes to like, you know, like what he has to get past like the thirteen fourteen mark, which yeah. is really the, I mean, that's where freeze mage becomes the scariest. Uh, force is just gonna ping the Drake, I believe. Set up for a flame strike or even a flame strike buff. Bluff. Doctor Boom gets picked up. Oh. And that's something I haven't seen very often from this deck. Mm -hmm. His implosion. Implosion is uh, yeah. pretty standard. Yeah, I like going with just the, with the Twilight Drake here though. He, he could have implosion the Harrison, but I think just the four nine is going to be much better value. That's true. I mean, you can't really guess how much the implosion is going to hit, right? Right. So you don't even know how much damage you're going to deal. Ice Bear is going to come down here instead of flame strike because flame strike really just deals. Four damage to a minion. The other minion's just gonna stay there. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Do, do you think? Do you think he's frost bolting this uh, four nine Twilight Drake this turn? Ooh, really? I don't think that's really good to be honest. Like right now, I think Forsen is holding to a uh, pyroblast and frost bolt. So if he draws into more damage spells, he can just go for it because he also has the other ice block, right? So he can just buy a turn. Okay, so he just he feels comfortable with his life total right now. Yeah. He's going to work on chipping away at his opponent's life and then looking for a couple of big turns at burst. Right, I mean, if you get Ice Lance, then you wish you had the Frostbolt ready for the face. Right. I like that game plan. Mm -hmm. But then over at Death Lore, uh, turn 7, Dr. Broom is looking at you and saying, Hi, <laughs> I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> he 
He's like whistling at you. He's like, I'm available. <laughs> you're like, Dr. Boom, you single? He's like, do you see any boom bots around me? Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, there's two. I think an- another um, another way of uh, winning against the freeze mage is to use Dr. Boom on a crucial turn where they have to flame strike the board or something. And they're yeah. down to very low health, so they can't uh, they can't proc their own ice block, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, but still, I mean, your opponent's 23. There's an ice barrier up. And I just feel like, I feel like Dr. Boom is really good here. I think something else he's debating is the merit of, of actually attacking this explosive sheet with his 4-9. Mm -hmm. That's true. And yep. he does do that. It's going to save his boom bots and then it's going to force... If Forsen wants to clear out this drake, it's going to force him to use two mana for it. Oh man. Or have some sort of a sweep spell. You know, we haven't seen Blizzard from Forsen's deck, actually. <clears throat> oh yeah, that is one of the key cards that we haven't seen. I mean, something has to get taken out with all the Harrison and anti kill bot includes. Yeah. Oh man. Fireball... Frostbolt and Pyroblast? How much does that equal, uh, Admirable? It's 19 damage. And so how far. much hope does the Warlock have? Yeah, this could uh -oh. be uh, this could be brutal. Uh -oh. You know, he's got to be thinking about potential heals from his opponent, though. That's true. Def uh, Deathlord uh, can, I mean, he can Siphon Soul one of his own minions. Mm -hmm. uh, anti-kill anti is also lot. definitely a possibility yep. of this deck as well. Hmm. I think he's, I think he's going to go for it. This YOLO? No okay, so like, so like, say, <laughs> say he like he pings his minion, right, and, and then he freezes up. his board, right, and then next turn he can use fireball and frostbolt, and then his opponent pops his ice block, right. This is this is assuming he puts together twenty seven points of damage, which and then is he just reasonable. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, I like that game plan. Oh, oh. <laughs> he both did at the same time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is a uh, this deck's got a lot of tools to deal with this sort of stuff, and yeah, nine cards in hand. I you know I I don't think he really wants to life tap anymore at this point though. No. I think he's just got enough options. Like, I mean, I I think there's it's even reasonable to just face this manipulator your own Doctor Boom at this point just to get added pressure on the board. Yeah, you could do that actually. That's true. I mean, a seven seven is not really going anywhere. Oh, it's how wow, he's gonna life tap. Oh man. Place Black Knight instead here, and Forsen, even ever the closer of killing his opponent outright right now. Well, wow, I feel like he's also insane here. Yeah, I, this is a great draw. He's got a second ice block sitting in his hand. I mean, I gotta believe that Forsen's just gonna make the push for damage here. And I, I, I think he, I mean, he's in prime position to get it. I mean, he's got three yeah. cards. He's got at least three cards to pick up an ice lance. If he just if he does ice lance, then it's ditch the fireball and just go frostbolt ice lance because he can couple the ice block. With the fireball next turn, oh, Archmage is not not really what you need. And into, yeah, he's gonna dig. He's gonna dig for the uh, for the ice lands here. And no, Let's get it. Ooh, but but this is the box not even getting popped this turn. Seven, ten, eight. Oh. So twelve plus nine is twenty one. Twenty one plus the arcane golem and faceless manipulator. Well, you can just sacrifice on your bombs and you can do it. So yeah, the. Bonk, the, the block is actually going to get blocked here. Oh no. Would you have liked to see Forsen do the um, do the uh, Fireball Frostbolt thing instead? Well, he's got oh, the second copy. No. Oh my gosh, an anti heal bot gets picked up. Oh no. This is this disaster. might be too. I think this is just too much life now for, for Forsen to be able to come back through. Oh yeah, this is this is pretty disastrous. Yeah, Death Lord is counting this up right now. So it's 15, 17 plus 8 available. That's not quite yet. No overwhelming, so... Well, actually, it could be 17 plus 10 if he wants to use the two Dark Bombs. Oh, yeah, you have Dark Bombs, right. So yeah, so he could he could just use the Arcane Golem and then run everything in, and he can, he can keep forcing it one as well. That's true. 17 plus uh, 10 is equal to 27, last I heard. And, of course, bringing your opponent down to that kind of um, health with the Boombots on board is just so, so scary, you know? Your opponent just can't clear the board anymore. You can't even use yep. the Like... Well, Frost Nova Doomsday is out of the question. That's some pretty unlucky draws from Force. He picked up four cards. Yeah. And didn't see another Frost Bolt, another Fireball, or another Ice Lance. Nope. And that, yep. Yeah, he's just going to go for the, for the Poppins block here. Poppins block. Wait. Does the Yeah, because one of the Boombots hasn't attacked yet. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 of course. I mean, I would believe so, right? Yeah. 
Perfect. Oh my gosh. This is such a brutal spot for Forsen. Even when he picks up the damage, he's just going to get the bad news. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! W wait a minute. Two. If he can draw to some Ice Lances, we know that Thalnos can can put some insane combos, you know? Uh, so, wait. Thalnos... Wait... You have to use Ice Ball to just use it, right? Yeah, he's and you have to Ice Block has to come down. So, would you... I guess Fireball and Frostbolt is just the most damage. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Because Thalnos can't even be played here, I guess. I think he's just got a Fireball and then ping and then ice block. Fireball and ping ice block? Yeah, and just hope his opponent doesn't have the right range after that. Because yeah. that'll put him down to 10. And so then you have two ways to kill him. Which right, is but the then you expect some steals like a Farseer, right? So wouldn't you just use yeah. the Frostbolt right now too? And just like hope you can Pyroblast next turn because if, if, you, if you, you can't live for another turn. And it seems like Pyroblast is the most... It's the ender you have right now in your hand. Oh, man. Uh, we can see Deathlord's hand. We know that he can't live another turn, but he might be thinking something like, what if my opponent doesn't have a Hellfire mm -hmm. in his hand? So if, if he drew something like a Freeze, he could potentially stay alive for one more turn after That's that. That's true. That's quite true. But man, just three healing spells in Deathlord's hand. It's just it's too much. You know, if he had Leroy Jenkins in a Freeze here, he might be able to pull this off. <laughs> He can fill his opponent's board. Oh my board. god, Leroy's he can fill back his opponent's... in the now? <laughs> he can fill his opponent's board and not let him cast Antique Healbot. Oh man. So yeah, Fireball is going to be coming down here. Assuming the Frostball is going to come down here. So Forsen is looking to use the Pyroblast to end its turn, end the game, but... Death Lore has some bad news. Gosh, going up to 16 health. That oh, that's... Steady. Oh, that's heart... it's going to be heartbreak for him. Siphon Soul plus Farseer is also an option, but don't you just want to heal the most at this point of the game? Yeah. He's just, he, I think he's just weighing all his options. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. He's just implosion his face here. <laughs> <laughs> but then you have no more space to play any more minions. <laughs> oh, no. When BM goes wrong. Person is gonna look, uh, his face is gonna just really sad when he's empty. Yeah. Like, is, is there oh, any combination oh, oh, oh. of cards he can draw to get out of this at this point? Is there? Is it both of his arcane intellects are gone now? That's just flame strike is certainly not gonna be it. Yeah, even because though it a well is fought Hellfire, series, right? It's yeah, Hellfire. even though a well fought series, Forsen is gonna fall three games to two to Death Lord, who is quickly racking up a big stream of wins through a lot of the best players that are out there. Yeah, these matches, they're definitely quite close, I have to say. Whoa! No, Frost Nova and Doomsayer, you can't do that. Yeah, he's got he's to believe there's hope, though. Like, oh. you, just, you have to believe. But that's not a play when Boombots are out. Boombots just ruin everybody's day. <laughs> you bring them to your party, and they go get out. Look, your opponent <laughs> just has to not have uh, a Hellfire or a way to kill a minion. Okay, so you just Frost Nova and pray, basically. Yeah, who plays ways to kill minions? Oh, like nobody, right? No. <laughs> oh man. Force is thinking of the good old times. <laughs> Back when Freeze Mage was invincible and across the across the Oh man. Final person. All right. Well, Death Lord does uh, get to uh, get this series. Pick your poison, power overwhelming one of your boom bots. That works too. But now, yeah. person just quits. Yeah, a well fought series, but you know, just at the end, just the, the anti kill bot really pulling so much weight in this matchup. It, it, Freeze Mage is looking to deal pretty close to exactly thirty damage in, in a lot of its games. That's true. So when you can couple heals with pressure. That's one of the scenarios where you see Freeze Mage struggle a ton. Is either under so much pressure that they can't handle what's happening, or under enough pressure, and then ways to back up their life total. Yeah, that's true. And Nasramus is funny because like Mad Scientist was a way to uh, help Freeze Mage become like super like deck that works. But now Anti Killbot is a way for people to counter Freeze Mage. 
So yeah. um, free mage, free mage players definitely need to like you know, kind of deal with it. You know. Yeah. So now, look, really? oh, go ahead. Well, it's a really big point in that game too. Was uh, the Hellfire turn where he chose the Hellfire to clear out a two two, a two one, and a two one. Uh huh. Uh, had he not done that, it just those minions would have added up to so much damage that Forsen actually might have had the reach to push through that game. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, well played by Zephlor. He's gonna take the series three two, uh, two against Forsen. Uh, and it's going to be advancing to the next match with the Rinish Brackets. For the uh, Forsen boys out there, don't worry. Forsen is not out yet. He's going to go to the Losers Brackets. We're going to take a quick break right now. Um, after we update the brackets, we still need to put Forsen on the right side there. But yeah, uh, breaks in this tournament, by the way, are going to be super fast. There's only going to be five-minute break between games. We want to give you as much games as possible. So stay tuned. It is uh, Amaz and Admirable here casting the Pinnacle 2. 